Hade's beer was actually tried this summer when North Bay had its beer festival. But North Bay's beer festival sucked ass and the sound, the music, just everything, the too much background noise and the vlog got right fucked up. So we're trying it again. What? Be going down, people of the world. My name is Redbeard and this is a daily drink vlog for the beer of the today. We've got a can of Swing Bridge Blonde by the Manitoulin Brewing Company. Yes, indeed. Like I said, they were here for the North Bay Beer Festival, but it was held indoors, and the band playing was just horribly loud, and I recorded a few vlogs. I think I put out one of them, and that was the only one that even was remotely okay. The other ones, the background noise, it was just way too much, and made me kind of sad. So we're retrying this one now, and let's crack her open. Let's see what we have got. Blonde ale, I'm assuming it's going to be pretty light in color. <clears throat> get some, get a little bit of head on there. Hey, yes, yes, poor nice. That's very nice. That's bloody beautiful. Indeed. As always, all the thanks in the whole wide world going to those who are watching my videos. The beard loves you all so very, 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 very much. Very, very nice looking blonde ale, for sure. Manitoulin Brewing Company is the road less traveled. Not that you would want to travel that road. You see, it isn't quite as enviable as it sounds, unless you want to work in a convenience store like Toronto, in Toronto like Blair did, or be like Nishin, and well, let him tell you. You see, Blair and Nishin have a story that is as special as Manitoulin Island itself. They'll tell you about it when you visit. They're unique, they're different, they're off the beaten path. Sometimes it seems like you need to get a ferry to get across to them, that the world's largest fresh water you get the picture, but make no mistake, they're passionate and easy to love. And now, so is their handcrafted Manitoulin beer. Yeah, it's a pretty cool little bit on their website, obviously, is where I'm getting that. Manitoulinbrewing.co.co Not a whole lot of... A whole lot of anything coming out of the aroma on that. Let's give her a shot. That's nice. Really, really nice. Crisp, kind of clean. If I was really thirsty and it was a hot summer day, I'd say refreshing. It's not bad. It's a good blonde ale. Let's do this. Cheers, everybody. Yeah, like a nice kind of multi character. <clears throat> Maybe a little bit of hoppiness kind of going along with the multi character. Not 100%. Because, you know, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, but aside from that, connecting Manitoulin Island to the mainland is the Little Current Swing Bridge. I've been on that bridge. I hate it. An iconic landmark and gateway to island life. Our Swing Bridge Blonde is brewed in small batches to be distinctly smooth, flavorful, and fresh. Take a swig and come on over. From Little Curlant. Little Curlant? Current. Current! In Manitoulin Island. Here in Ontario. Ingredients water, barley malt, wheat malt, hops, and yeast. Barley malt and wheat malt. That's different. And uh, we got, what, 5%. And we have packaged, I'm not going to bitch about it, but like, it, it, I, like, I like how it's a package on date, but the fact that I can't tell at all what that said, maybe use better ink for that, or maybe put the date like actually on the side of the can on the bottom. Constructive criticism? That's what it's called. Very, very nice, easy drinking, just kind of like typical Blondale. This is another one of those good 
Transition beers. If you're the kind of person that drinks Bud, Canadian, Blue, Coors Light, Bush, any one of the kind of big crap beers, and you want to transition into something that's actually going to, you know, be drink local, support local, help your local economy. Good one to start with right here, in my opinion. Today being February 6th, on this date in 1959 at Cape Canaveral, Florida, the first successful test firing of a tit Titan, I was going to say titanium because I'm a genius, Titan intercontinental ballistic missile was accomplished. Yep, and... I don't know, like, anybody who wasn't afraid of the states before then, maybe clenched up their ass just a little bit. They piss off the wrong person, and they push a button, and they fire a missile from the U.S. to basically anywhere in the goddamn world they want to, and hit you with it. Yep, go military might and all that fucking shit. Good blonde. I'm pretty sure those ICBM fucking things can hold up to like a, a pretty big nuclear bomb. So, like I've said before, you know, if, if if any one missile ever accidentally did get launched, a whole bunch of other missiles would probably get launched, and the, the world would, as we know it would come to an end really fast. Mildly terrifying prospect. It's just put it out of the mind and continue the tasty beer. Excuse me. Awesome timing. Yeah. My diaphragm. It's very considerate. On this date in 1978, the blizzard of 1978 happened. <laughs> oh, Wikipedia, you're great. One of the worst nor'easters in New England history. Nor'easter, I guess that's what they call a New England blizzard? I don't know. Apparently sustained winds of 65 miles per hour and snowfall of approximately 4 inches per hour. So, yeah, that, that's a blizzard. I don't think anybody really... I'm a couple people when I died, but nothing... Nothing insane. As far as I can tell. Give me a second, I'll look into it more. Yep, I was wrong. Approximately 100 people died. And around 4,500 people were injured. And it ended up costing roughly $550 million. 520, sorry. Which would be approximately $2 billion in today's money. Yeah, that would be pretty insane. Sorry, just looking at it here. It's it's it was a category five extreme, whatever the hell that means. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. I don't know if there's ever really been like a full-on crazy blizzard anywhere that I've lived during my life. I want to say that when I was younger, I kind of remember a blizzard but it wasn't like life-threatening we just stayed inside and you know kept warm and stuff power didn't go out and shit so <sighs> sorry my nose is being an asshole no it's not no no if it was being an asshole then i'd like i'd breathe out and poo might come up my nose and i just kind of gross myself out on this date in 1990, no, 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 1988, fuck, I need to start doing like at least a mild rehearsal, dry run, a dress rehearsal kind of thing. Michael Jordan made his signature slam dunk from the free throw line, inspiring the Air Jordan shoes and the Jumpman logo, which is, yeah, there. I don't think I ever owned a pair of Air Jordans. I owned a really cool pair of Dennis Rodman shoes when I was in high school. If I can find a picture, I'll put it here for a second. But they were 
they were so cool like to do them up you like took your foot and put it like on your knee and then the laces were right there on the side and then you do the other one too and it just it worked they were so comfortable and they looked awesome I called them my moon shoes I miss them if somebody wants to send me a pair I, I wouldn't I wouldn't be upset with you I'd be all blown away by you is what that would be I'm not really blown away by this beer but it's it's all of the drinkable very very nice kind of bland but I don't know I, I, blondes can have some nice kind of multi flavors a blonde ale a good blonde ale in my opinion is really similar to like a good pilsner just delicious kind of multi flavors with not really a lot of hop presence but this isn't bad at all it's like i said it's a little bit bland could have a little bit more excitement in the flavor profile but it's not bad on this date finally in 1996 Bergen Air Flight 301 crashed off the coast of the Dominican Republic, all killing all 189 people inside, being the worst accident ever that ever happened involving a Boeing 757. And apparently, the reason that it happened was because of a wasp nest. The plane was, it didn't fly for about 25 days or something, and it was just, it just sat there, and some part of the plane that should have had a cover on it didn't have that cover on it and wasps decided hey this is a perfect place to make our home and then at however many thousand feet up in the air they discovered it wasn't a good place to make their home I guess and yeah I don't know if anyone like who would have been in if the person that would have Would the person who was supposed to have been in charge of putting that cover on the plane, would he, that person should face some kind of criminal negligence kind of charges, you'd think? I would think, but I'm not sure. In memory of those poor bastards that were killed because of wasps. Fucking wasps, man. Not even night. Like, bees, bees at least pollinate the plants. They keep the world, you know, they keep us all alive and the green and all that. Wasps are just assholes. Straight up. Drink them to the last. <sighs> Manitoulin Brewing. Your Swing Bridge Blonde. Rating. It's a very solid 8. I said the flavor profile was not overly exciting, but there's nothing bad about it. I just, it could, it could have been a bit, a bit more. Good though. And that's going to do it for today's Daily Drink Vlog. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, then be sure to smash that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, then be sure to smash that subscribe button. Got some sending me, put some comments in the box down below. Thanks again, and I'll be back with another Daily Drink Vlog tomorrow. A piece of... I think I've got a pretty good system going on right now for the way everything I, I'm doing everything. Like I've said before... If you have issues or comments or complain anything, let me know and we'll address them as as such. The only thing I'm thinking maybe I should maybe do is like start doing like the Casey Neistat glasses thing. So when I'm looking at the computer, you couldn't tell, you know, but it's not that big a deal. <laughs>